Yep. All right, everyone, how's it going? Had, hope you had an amazing week. As you probably can tell, this is a mountain bike ride. I'm back on the linkage forks again. And actually I had a reply from Motion about my last video. And yeah, I'm gonna fill you in at the end of this video on what they said about it. But for the minute, I'm gonna try riding a little bit longer, put them through the paces and just see how they cope with a little bit more abuse. As is traditional, check out these views. Absolutely unreal. I'm sure if I had like a 16K camera, you could probably see my flat in Glasgow just back there somewhere. So just to fill you guys in a little bit, the last video we did in this area was the nipple tweaker, which uh, Ross and Ramsey built. That is at the bottom of this trail. So that's probably like the last quarter of this actual trail. So I think the plan is we're going to ride down here and then end up on the nipple tweaker or the new trail that the guys and myself have been building recently. Well, I say myself, I was there for one day. Uh, so yeah, we're going to head down the hill. Obviously, I've got my uh, stable camera and stuff that turned out really well last time. So hi, once everyone's up, rested, recuperated, we'll send it down here and try and go warp speed time. Okay, so just being informed, Ramsey says the new trail is called Rocket Fuel. So it pretty much goes down the same woods that Nipple Tweaker does, just a little bit of a, uh, a slight uh, detour. So it looks pretty good. It's got some pretty steep stuff I've seen you do in a Insta Ken. So not only have I got the stable camera, I've also got my setup, which if you guys are interested is kind of just hodgepodged <laughs> mount that looks down at the fork. So you guys seem to like that last time. So I'll try and use that footage as well. But yeah, let's do this. I've got some Bernie brakes going on. That is one of the best things that I've ridden in a long time. <laughs> Ramsey's rotor's loose, so we stopped off in the car park. Fortunately, I'm here in the good old motorhome, got my tools set up in the back, so a uh, bit of a plug there. And thank you very much. Cheers, Ed. So, bike's fixed. 
lock this up and we are going to go down into the woods. It'll be fun. Tweaker! <laughs> God, I see so much dust. It was muddy last time I came here. What's this dust about? Jeez, <laughs> this is slidey. <laughs> Never seen it this dusty here before. Oh, wrong line there. Oh my yeah. word! Oh, that was insane! <laughs> oh, my oh my! The only time I've ever ridden that trail, it's been super muddy, slippery, and I've never ever seen dust on it. Well, that was so dusty then, and still slippery, but just a different kind of slippery. All the little pebbles and rocks have come out. I made a mess of a lot of those corners, but that was good fun. These guys are looking pretty rapid down it. Ricky flipping, can canning all the way down. We are about. <laughs> We're about to hit, I think, the other trail, which I've not ridden yet. Trying to get down before it gets too dark. So, I'm going to follow these guys down again because I have no idea where I'm going and try and make this look good. <laughs> Nose dive to hell on that. Oh, it's getting pretty dark now. <laughs> right, steep bit coming up. Steep bit coming up, guys. Yeah, Ross, keep it going. Yeah, dude. Oh, so dark. <laughs> yeah, Ross. <laughs> oh, man. there's a tree falling down the hill. <laughs> that was wild. Are you guys lost? <laughs> oh, my legs. Yep. See if I can actually walk at this. Oh. oh, I lost it. <laughs> Goosed it. Oh, yeah. Is that true? <laughs> that tree is a bastard. All right, following you down, Ricky.
No. <laughs> How fun's the rest of that? Right, well, that was fun. And yeah, too dark to ride now. That was plenty of runs down a hill. Just gonna have a wee chill in the motorhome, have a cup of tea or whatever. And then when I get back, I'll explain to you guys exactly what Motion said to me. Their reaction to my last video where I said I wouldn't really recommend their box, um, which was interesting. But now they gave me a reply via email uh, to responses I said in the last video. So go home and let you guys know what those are. Cheers for the good ride, guys. Yeah, nice one. All right, so back home, had my shower, rested, good night's sleep, all that. If you're still watching this video, it means you either like my channel and watch my videos, in which case, thank you very much. Alternatively, you're here because I mentioned I got a reply from Motion about my previous video. Firstly, they like the video even if the conclusions were a bit painful for them. Uh, I really like Motion for allowing me to be honest and they're not necessarily wanting me to edit you know, what I'm saying, so that's great. One of the points that I made was the lack of uh, alternative springs that you can fit to the Motion like my MRPs uh, have available soft, medium, firm, or even firmer springs. And Motion, I've actually said, that is something they're working on and in the future that is gonna be an option. That basically means that if you are lighter than me, about 78 kilos, fully loaded, uh, you can go for a lighter spring for a more sensitive fork. Or if you weigh more than me, you can put a, a heavier spring in so you don't blow through the travel, which is pretty handy. Okay, so the next point was the top out. This is the main issue I had with the fork. Uh, and they've said, yep, I'm right. This is um, an unacceptable issue at this price level. They have actually developed a solution and have asked if I would like to try that. So I'm, yeah, I would definitely like to try that and see if that helps because yeah, the top out control is pretty much the only thing that's really holding this fork back from being unreal. So if they can fix that, then yeah, I'm all for that. They also brought up the point where I said uh, anti-dive is not a game changer. Um, I think maybe I was a little bit understated. Uh, they've asked, you know, is it better to have anti-dive or not? And yeah, it is better to have anti-dive. I rode the steep bit in the trail in this video and I actually do think the anti-dive helped with that. But the point I was trying to make in my last video was you're still gonna be able to get down, you know, the steep trails and stuff without anti-dive. It is just a little bit better to have it and the other point which i made was the price and yeah i know this is a real difficult subject because when you're a small business you're ordering small quantities you just can't compete with the big brands who can order tens of thousands of products i just still think it's going to be holding back motion you know to be able to compete with the big boys however they've asked me what price point i think would be a good one for them to get into what price point would you think they should uh, try and aim for let me know in the comments. I'd love to try this new upgrade they've got to help stop the top out. And yeah, if we can get that sent, I'll let you guys know how, it, how I get on with it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for getting this far. By all means, go check out my Patreon for longer videos, uh, some tutorial stuff on there as well. And I'll catch you all next time. So have an amazing week. Get out, ride your bikes, and I'll catch you then. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.